People commonly understand how major plants and animals exchange genetic information. But the ways in which microbes like bacteria do something similar are often overlooked. Bacteria rely on several different mechanisms for the exchange of genetic materials. In one case, a bacterial cell may transfer genetic information directly into another bacterial cell through a process called conjugation. In conjugation, one bacterium grows a duct, called a pilus, which attaches to the other bacterium. A genetic element, known as a plasmid, is then passed through the pilus from the donor cell to the recipient. In another case, viruses play a role in genetic exchange between bacteria. Bacterial viruses, or bacteriophages, sometimes just called phages, ordinarily attach themselves to bacterial cells and then inject their genetic material into the cells. Such viruses hijack bacteria, using bacterial cell components to generate new phage particles. In some cases, a phage's reproduction cycle kills the host bacterium. In other cases, the bacterium survives. This occurs when the virus's DNA becomes incorporated into the bacterium's DNA. At this stage, the virus depends on the host bacterium for the replication of new phage particles. When the new phages emerge from the host, some may carry pieces of bacterial DNA. If the new phages attach to other bacteria, and the DNA becomes incorporated into bacterial DNA, new genetic types of bacteria may be produced. This process, in which bacteriophages assist in the genetic recombination of bacteria, is known as transduction.